Hi everyone, this is Jonathan Alga at Couch and Associates, and in this video's MarTech tip, we'll be covering how to create a new user in the Salesforce Pardot platform. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you want to create a new user that is a non-SSO or non-Salesforce synced user, you can go ahead and navigate to Admin, User Management, and Users, which is going to bring you to this screen. From there, you're going to want to click the Add User button. From here, you're going to want to fill out the required fields, such as first name, last name, and email address. Please note that the email address that is used needs to be unique across all Pardot environments. Next, you'll want to decide whether or not to expire the user's password after 90 days, depending on the security uh, requirements at your organization. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select this. The next thing you want to do is check to send the activation email. This is ultimately the email the user will receive where they can go ahead and set their password and ultimately log into the Pardot platform. Next, you want to come down here and select the time zone, locale, and language. Now, by default, these are going to take on what has been set at your Pardot account level. It's unlikely there's going to be changes needed here, but it's nice to know that the user can go in after they've uh, logged in for the first time and make changes uh, and experience the application in the language that they want to. Uh, next, we're going to need to select a role. And this is really going to define the permissions uh, and uh, the things that the user is going to be able to see and do within the application. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select marketing. You can also use tags within Pardot to organize things, including users. So if you've got a tag strategy, you can uh, include those here. The next section is really all about limiting uh, the, what the user is able to do as well. Things like limiting the number of prospects they can import to a specific amount, limiting the number of prospects they can export, or limit the number of emails they can send it, uh, at a given time. Next, we come down to the preferences section. And by default, you can see that Pardot has selected a few of these system emails. I'd recommend just unchecking all of them and letting the user come in on their own accord and decide what they want to receive. And with that, hit create user and your activation email will send, and you're all done. Okay, that wraps up this video on how to create a new user. We've included links to more info and formal documentation on the Salesforce Pardot platform in the description below. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click on the like button and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. Consider clicking on the bell to stay up to date on the latest videos from our team. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time with another MarTech tip.